Hey all, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and today I was meant to be doing a SEXS video, sorry, SECS video, or a sex video, which is also known as Space Engineers Construction Series, which is where I take you guys through the process of me building a ship and then showing it off at the end of the video when it's done. I've run into a few problems with creating this thing, so I've kind of just skipped to the end, making it more of a bug video mixed in with a preview of the first thing that I've designed for this series and that is this thing here as you guys can tell it's clearly not finished and I like I said I've stopped production on it until I can get whatever this bug is or whatever this problem is fixed but for now I have admit it does look pretty cool now what this is this is a ship mixed with a gravity cannon that can also act as a massive deflector or massive shield I guess it's almost like a satellite, really. My eye is extremely itchy. There we go. It should be okay, hopefully, for the rest of the video. So what the, how this works, basically, is... God damn, I... It, it was perfectly fine in, like, this last 20 videos I've recorded tonight, just trying to get this thing done. But, like I said, all those videos are pretty much useless now until I get this problem fixed. So the way this works is there are four parts like these four panels full of gravity generators and obviously they have gyros and power and they are connected to a motor which swings them back and forth and I can latch them into certain positions using the well using the settings on the motor for starters and using the landing gears to actually hold them in place so right now they're all closed in which is pretty much allows for high mobility without it worrying about you colliding into anything weird and allows you to park into stations and stuff like that without worrying about too much. Now there is a slight gravity field in here, even because I haven't locked these in properly and that's got partially to do with the bug. And as you guys can see, there is a slight gravity field pulling up, but it's not too strong. It'll be stronger when these are actually folded out. So let me just show you the back here. Like I said, this can be basically the loading bay if you wanted to have like a shell or stones or anything like that in the back here loaded in you can fire it out through here and it can act as like a massive cannon like that as well like I said you can also just launch people out of it but anyways uh, moving on from that this was intended to be like storage areas and meant to be catwalks and stuff along here but I never got around to finishing it down below here oops sorry there's reactors that I just kind of threw in there for a second down here there's not really all too much. There's actually just a bit of empty space, I think. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Apart from two little lonely generators. But let me go back to the top here if I stop drifting around. And there should be the cockpit. So I made the cockpit a little neat room here, just with the windows and stuff so you can see out the front and everything. And look at how awesome everything looks. I admit, if this thing worked, this would probably be one of the favorite or one of the best things. I consider, like, personally, that I've made. Uh, too bad I haven't finished it now. Like I said, there's meant to be a huge ship that goes out the back here. Well, maybe not too big, but, you know, big enough. And it's got all those engines on the back here. I did stick on these reverse uh, engines just for the time being, just so it would stop drifting around when I was working on it. But now to show you guys the good bit, or also known as the bad bit, because it doesn't really work right. And it's not on my part, at least not that I know of, it's just something to do with the settings and the motors that are causing them to play up. So, what I, what this thing does, and I've already explained it, is the panels open up and that allows for a stronger gravity field to redirect everything in front of it, including like yourself and stuff like that. So, let me go to the motors here and let me go reverse velocity for all these. Now, the one thing that doesn't work is going negative velocity for whatever reason I don't know why that doesn't work here I'll go slow speed so it looks really epic <laughs> when it opens now the only ones you'll see open will be I think the top one and the left one I think where the way the camera is facing right now top one and the left one should open and that's these two because they're positive velocity for whatever reason like I said negative velocity doesn't work and I, I don't know why that is but I'll set these on negative velocity as well anyways. Here, I'll set it on negative 30. And these are the settings... Sorry, these are the settings I have it on here. Which, like I said, should work. But for whatever reason, they don't. And I, I don't know why that is. So, 
yeah anyways let me go out of this menu and like I said because they're locked in they won't move at all but if I press P to unlock here I'll go to a better camera angle so it actually looks like it's all working and I will unlock it and you can see this epic cannon unfold into either a satellite or whatever you want it to be <laughs> and like I said it can go faster or slower depending on what you want to set the speed to but once it goes out you can then lock it in and just imagine it all four did that in sync like I said they stopped because I've set the angles here I think it's these two that worked yeah I set it to 89 which is just one degree under 90 degrees so it doesn't bang up too much against the landing gear and so these two are the two motors that you saw move these two don't move because they're in negative <coughs> velocity but these two do close uh, which is the bottom two they close in perfectly fine as were the ones you saw open they don't close because it involves them going to negative velocity which for whatever reason doesn't work huh <sighs> that was a long long explanation but like i said i can lock these in and just imagine all of them unfolded here i'll actually i'll unfold them quickly for you guys i'll do it manually because well it's not that hard but i'd prefer it if it actually worked so that pretty much just involves me having to rotate this thing around until i get it to haul into an open state and Ta da oops don't bounce off you there we go Okay, and now to get this last piece in. Like I said, I wouldn't have to do this if whatever was not working was working. So, there we go. And they're all locked in. So this is what it looks like when it is completely open. My camera goes a little bit funky because of that thing in the way there. Let me just get out, actually, and I'll show you guys it from the outside now. So, yeah, it does look pretty damn cool. And like I said, if it, if it works, imagine the look on the enemy's face. When you come towards them with this like skinny looking ship and next thing you know it opens up into this massive thing. So you can have guns galore all across the inside of this if you really really wanted to. And it would just like look at the size of I'm flying far away from it right now and it still stands out like crazy. So yeah like I said I really like this if only I could finish it if only that bug or whatever is causing the motors to not work in negative velocity. I've like messed around with the angles and everything like that. The weird thing is, they work when it's not a huge chunk on here. Like, if it was only the small section here, they would go back and forth perfectly fine in negative uh, velocity. But when it's in... Wait. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I should say this without sounding too derpy. Okay, so this one, this one doesn't go... Which one is it? These these go out fine. So these don't go inwards because that involves them having to go negative velocity. So this this and any clockwise is negative. They won't go inwards on negative velocity unless they're extremely small. Even though they're exact same weight as this one, which does go inwards fine on positive velocity. Hopefully that made more sense. Oh, there's actually a few dents on here. Maybe I was going a bit too quick. Eh, whatever. <laughs> It, you can just easily repair it later on. Like I said, it, it helps if you go a little bit slower. But yeah, negative velocity is not good on bigger pieces, even though positive velocity is fine. So I'm not too sure what's causing that. But I might as well give it. Like, I might as well end the episode by going out to the cannon. Like I said, my mind's all over the place right now because I'm trying to figure out what's causing this, and I can't exactly figure it out. So like I said, all. Uh, as you can see, all gravity is pointing in that one direction now, so it's extremely strong. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, you can shoot rounds out of it, like I said, and you can also use it as a shield to deflect things. I currently don't have anything to shoot yet, because like I said, I've kind of halted this uh, project until I can finish or fix up whatever's going wrong with it. And this was meant to be a short episode, but I probably ended up rambling on for another 5-10 minutes like I usually tend to do. So yeah, I'm going to end this here, and I want to thank you guys for watching, and maybe one of you guys know the solution out there to what's going on here, why these motors can't go in negatives, but they work fine in positives. So yeah, uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.